Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 64 match in the season 46 chalice. We've got Martin, Martin scores easy versus Singolo. Um, and Singolo won the uh, won the toss, chose to receive. Yep, sorry no dude, you know there's going to be an element of that of course. Uh, I am trying to do every single playoff game, so... You know, preferably in replay form, so <laughs> people will have seen them before if they keep up with Twitch. Uh, it's actually a pretty great team for Martin, isn't it? Like, absolutely amazing. Guard, strength up, guard, mighty bow tackle, guard, guard, strength and guard, guard, stand firm. Like, it's pretty amazing, apart from he's taken, he's taken Hail Mary pass. <laughs> And he's only got 11 players. So both of those things are terrible. He's got a bribe as well, did he? Oh, yeah, I think that was a terrible... Oh no, Singolo's got the bribe, oh god. Okay, Singolo's got the bribe. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes, Singolo's got... <laughs> Singolo's the one down men with 13... Down TV with 13 players. <laughs> yeah, so that is, that is, that is a bit tragic for Martin, isn't it? Being 11 men takes the 1D there. Obviously no reason not to. Maybe shouldn't have followed, right, to keep those all tied up on that one guy. Yeah, there's only two strengths though, isn't there? Like the, like the team is pretty great, to be fair. And I guess Singolos is really lean, right? He's got this amazing claw on there. But then he's just got one or two skill dwarves and a rookie dwarf. So like, his, his dwarf core is very weak. Apart from the claw bomber. So it's pretty much all on the claw bomber to remove people. And if he doesn't, he's going to struggle. But he does have he does have the uh, dirty player and the grime, hasn't he? So actually, that is. Oh, and there's a. That could be a very costly. A very costly. Uh, what's it called? Um, bonehead, <laughs> as we saw from the last lizards who just constantly boneheaded and then got cast. Um, he's a very good player to foul, isn't he? Strength six. What guard? He's absolutely the kind of guy you want to foul with your dirty player with a bribe. And that's the thing, although yes he's got loads of strength and guard, you just can't stop people getting 2Ds with claw on, can you? And, yep, I'm not surprised we see that. Um, <laughs> pro kicking in there, like you know, he might as well greet it, might you? Like, okay, he might flip skull, but he might also get a Kaz, and there you go, glorious. <laughs> so, there's Martin's apple gone on turn two. He's gonna foul the guard first, that makes sense, obviously, more assists. Like, it would be nice to foul the Crocs just because it's hard to knock over the Crocs, right? Like, the Crocs being strength 6 guard is really hard to deal with. So I would have been quite up for trying to foul him, even with less assists, but I guess only one assist, you, you can't. Should maybe go for the dirty player here. It's really hard for, for mine, though, because obviously you just, you just can't stop this guy getting hit, basically. Like being the one down, it's just horrible. Like if he was the one with bribes. You can be my wingman oh, anytime. glorious! Thank you very much, Elliot. No spoilers from Elliot's chat, please. As we're going to do Elliot's game after this one. Uh, but thank you very much for the massive raid. Big up, Elliot. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of an interesting game, right? It's it's it is a fair and even matchup because because to be fair, Singolo's team is pretty rubbish. Um, Martin's team is pretty great. The only problem is, of course, um, there's 13 players for Singolo and he's got a dirty player and a bribe. Um, so, you know, it's like... Yeah, he's just proing every time. He's d destroying him with pro. <laughs> Dead! <laughs> Pro best skill confirmed. Singolo must love Pro. He, he loves to greed at the best of times, but uh, and with Pro, he doesn't even doesn't even need a care about, does he? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about just running away this game. Like, 
It's hard though. It's it's so hard for Martin because obviously if he if he if he splits his team like this, then then the Saurus get picked off. Um potentially. But if he if he tries to like go in hard then um it's I mean Yak's a lunatic Volk. <laughs> no offense to Yak. But um <laughs> I mean, in a way, if you don't mind greedy. And Singolo definitely doesn't mind greedy. So. Oh, wow. He, uh, he uses a team reroll on the bonehead. Interesting. Good argument for just staying down now, right? Three, three Saurus down. I go to the uphill on the ball, fair enough. He could have he could have won in nine and got the knockdown. Maybe the crocs was just gonna run away and that's why he re-rolled the bone head. <laughs> but now there's no escape. He's got a claw on the The guy hasn't he? Oh finally failed the pro. Because, like, obviously he could have been greedy and just knocked him down with him and then... I'll try to knock him down with him and then go for the claw on bits there, but... Oh, we're going to get a big foul on the Crocs here, I'm sure. Oh, he's risking the ball carrier. I'm not sure he had to do that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not guaranteed to break armor. Could be double one. That's a big foul because it, it's 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 got eight assists. <laughs> well, seven assists. <laughs> so that's why it's a big foul, isn't it? But uh, also, oh no, six assists. He was uh, he was basing with the ball as well. Made it kind of needlessly dangerous, right? Runs away. Made this hit, but maybe he should just run them both away because obviously now this guy's getting caught on. Like the, the the half's over, right? Three swords down. This guy getting his head kicked in. It's uh, it's bad news for the lizards. And maybe maybe they should have gone like more high octane right at the start. And like it's hard, right? Because all of the Chorfs have got tackle, and it's really super scary to put in all of your skinks like, like a madman. But I, he pro I think you probably have to play like a madman. Well, there you go. There's a kill. And there's the foul. Oh, <laughs> cast! And the apple's already gone. <laughs> oh dear. Obviously the send off doesn't matter at all. He used to spike earlier, didn't he? Um, that is a great trade. And now basically Martin's already lost. Um Yeah. Basically already lost. <laughs> <laughs> On what, turn five or something? Yeah. Turn five he'd lost. Well done. Thanks for coming. I mean, it was a really, it was a really nice lizardman team as well, wasn't it? Really nice lizardman team. Um, and as much as as much as Try can think that his 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 chalice win wasn't that great a draw because he had to play pro elves and stuff, you'd rather play pro elves than this, wouldn't you? <laughs> um, because. <laughs> You know, this is stupid. Is he going to meet cube? He could do. He could go for the full meet cube. There's no wizard. Boo. Boo. No meet cube. He wouldn't have lost if he had more pro. If he hadn't taken Hail Mary pass. <laughs> That's pretty terrible. 
Not even worth, not even worth doing this because now he can claw on me. <laughs> <laughs> No, you just literally ask. It's like it's just trading a non a non mighty blow hit for a claw palm like that. That can't be good. You ask me. The pros did not have claw palm, no, did we? Never. Pretty sure. Oh god, he tagged there instead of there. You can get into a 3D with Block. He could just claw him and then claw on Blitz as well, couldn't he? But I mean, I'm sure he's gonna. I'm sure he's just gonna claw on Blitz. I think it's too valuable getting like a, an easy 2D on the strength value. It's too, too tempting for the claw pump, even. Even if he could have been more efficient. I mean, Dimmy does. That's why he's the champ. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Dimmy's the champ. He always gets Clawpom on his Pro Elves. It's silly not to, really. Might have been better to put the uh, bull over here, right? To make it 3D uphills from this king. But I mean, it's not really good. Oh, he's come in with this? It would have been an uphill as well if he'd had the guard in. So we probably should have put the guy and make it an uphill instead of a one. Like this bull centaur. I guess this bull centaur protected the other bull centaur from the other team. But like, he could have protected against the incredibly vanishingly small chance of uh, of anything happening. Yeah, I think I think that might win it for Chalice, yeah. I think that might win Chalice for Zons. If they could have claw for. So this time he does the more sensible thing of hitting with a claw and then like you know getting more hits because he could have uh, he could have 3D pommed a skink as well. So I think I think that was the right play against the against the stamp firm and also it gives you more hits on the stamp firm anyway, doesn't it? And he's just not as valuable. Well, it's not that he's not as valuable. It's it's not as easy to 2D him as it is to 2D the strength five. Wow, he finally gets the knockdown. That was a pain in the ass, that stand firm. He finally gets it. And there you go. An easy score and almost won the game, right? With so many counts. I mean, well, he gets two back. But it's the fact that you just can't stop from getting the claw bomb hits, right? That's the thing. No matter how much strength and guard you've got, you just can't stop people getting getting two Ds on you. Even strength three ones. That's why. That's why Charles is so strong, isn't it? Like, yes, they're not as strong in a mirror. Like, uh, well, not in a mirror. In a, like in a bash mirror versus Nurgle or Chaos. But the fact that even though Nurgle and Chaos have got more strength than them, they just can't stop them punching things with Claw Palm. And it's quite easy for them to just do this. <laughs> Anybody with Claw Palm can just do this, and if they do this, it's gonna be it's gonna be bad times. Of course, if this guy was a uh, sprint instead of Hail Mary Pass, he'd be a lot better. But he's not. <laughs> <laughs> he's not for some reason he's got Hail Mary Pass is Hail Mary Pass about to lose him the match maybe should he have gotten the ball first let's have a look 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 GFI yep probably should have gotten the ball first Maybe not. What's, what's it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, he was right not to. He was right not to because he can get there with double GFIs. HMP is terrible, large blood. HMP is completely terrible. 
and Dio and everyone who agrees with him is wrong about that. <laughs> oh, he should have had sure hand. He should have had sure feet as well. Well, that was a bit unlucky, wasn't it? Like he got the three pushes that he needed because he hadn't taken sprint. Um, and he would have had what a three plus without tackle and a three plus with tackle and a three plus without tackle. <laughs> HMV is a skill of dreams, yes. Yes, Store, it is. Like, the kind of dreams that you have when you're on painkillers and you just have, like, completely insane ones. <laughs> I am not inspired to do no good one, no. Nightmares of useless bloat. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't get on board with, with Dio's love of HMP. <laughs> yes, I could see taking it on, on like a five normals Dwarf Runner or something. <laughs> like, well, Dwarf Runners especially, right? What did it get? Block, leader, kickoff return. They get those three, and after that, they start to struggle. Or wrestle tackle. Whatever. Yes, but spending a double on it, on a skink, is pretty crazy. Like it could have just been sprint, couldn't it? Or it could have been it could have been guard, or it could have been kick off return. Even I don't even hate kick off return. Helps with the one turn, doesn't it? Because the fact that they can't pass uh, kick off return actually helps the one turn quite a bit for uh, skinks. <laughs> Very good stuff. <laughs> Yeah, Kemri, better for Kemri because Kemri tend to get in the situations where their drive is completely and utterly fucked and all they can do is just lob it like an idiot so they don't get scored on. So yeah, I guess not so bad for, not so bad for throw rows. I don't, I really hate jugs on him. Really hate jugs on him. But I could see leader, kickoff, return, guard. If you wanted to take the double and sprint, if you just wanted to be sensible, because you've already got, because you've already taken sure feet. Uh, yeah, find me. Yeah, doing, uh, doing, doing Elliot's as well. I'll, I'll, if you give me a moment, I shall uh, move over to the uh, thing so that you can join me. Might as well do it now, because no, nothing's happening in this game. <laughs> like, completely, completely surrounded now. This is, uh... You know, it's never over. How could you possibly think this game is over, as Elliot would say? <laughs> well, because it is. <laughs> this is the answer. Okay, in commentary now. <laughs> That's exactly how you had. I, I, I knew you'd take it well. <laughs> right. There you go. It's not over. Flip me, guys. We still got a skink. Anything's possible. Woo! <laughs> We've got a skink next to a jump up claw pommer who doesn't jump up pom it. <laughs> Literally, the only way he can possibly win the game, and he doesn't. He doesn't tackle pom. Hello, everybody. Some would say that's I, terrible. I arrived just in time Not to me, see though. another lizard leaving. He's the got pitch. a skink with hail mary pass, and he's got a skink here who can run away. 
any any he claw bombs the Saurus, that's absolutely no threat whatsoever. Now I'm not saying that's terrible, but well, no, I am saying that's terrible. <laughs> Can you hear me, guys? <laughs> Like, you can probably catch him with the balls, but still. You can't hear me. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yes, yes. Oh, you can't hear Fymir. I can't hear Fymir. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man, this... All right. Hello, Fymir? Hello. Hello, I can hear you now. Glorious. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> Yeah, my, my, uh, my, I don't know if it's my socket on my PC or my, um, headphones or my connector, but it's just terrible. Yeah, uh, I, I that that we, we have too much stuff connected at the same time. Yeah. The webcam has a mic too, so I mean, bothers the Discord. Anyway, Hope Goblin Death there. <laughs> yeah. the, 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 Tide changing for the lizard. <laughs> it nearly did. They won in nine the dodge out. Or they could have just run down here, double GFI'd, and they could have Hail Mary passed it to him, and he could he could have got a draw. Well, not really. He would have got a touchdown. He's still losing, obviously. But he could have, he could have got a touchdown there. Like that was real bad from Singolo to not blitz the the one the one thing that can that that Martin can do. <laughs> Random Irish man. <laughs> Well, put that one down in the list of things I've been called. <laughs> I mean, Fyre is definitely not Irish. <laughs> half Scottish, half... Well, not really half Scottish. Half Scottish, half Spanish. 100% okay. Welsh, like everybody else on the planet. <laughs> yep. I like using the reroll there, he just doesn't need the rerolls, does he? So, making sure he can't hail Mary pass is good. <laughs> yeah, North America as well, that's a good one. You've got to remember the North Americans. Oh, we're yes, all, yes. <laughs> we're all Welsh and North American here. <laughs> I should have made the team like North Wales. <laughs> Welsh Americans. Yeah, Welsh American. The, the, the yeah. Welsh Americans community. <laughs> NWA, North Wales, America. <laughs> straight, straight out of Kimru. I don't know how you pronounce it. That would be amazing. <laughs> This was a game of Blood Bowl. Very bad luck for uh, Martin Scorese. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good game for like about four turns. <laughs> but I mean, this is the way it can go for Lizards against Clawpom, isn't it? That is... It's kind of also what tends to happen. Like, it's, they don't have the Hyper Bash or the Hyper Ball, do they, for Lizards? So like, when they get the high TV in, in the playoffs, it often comes down to Clawpom slaughtering them. Or strength five elves just laughing at them. <laughs> sure, Sean, exactly, exactly, Ada. But that sounds that looks a lot like it's Chunter talking there. Hey guys, we're gonna see something, Let's try something, gonna be amazing. <laughs> Isn't it? I don't know how. I don't know how you pronounce it. Is it Cymru? But whatever it is. <laughs> NWA. We can, we can still change our name. We can still change our. We can still change our name. I don't think it's locked in before the uh, before the playoffs. NWA straight out of Cymru. <laughs> North, North Wales, America. <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, 
the Hail Mary pass, even the Hail Mary pass fails. Oh man, <laughs> he tried to do it, he tried to use it. He was like, look, look at me, Dio. <laughs> Poor little skink. <laughs> Golo, so with no mercy. <laughs> It's going to be a sad day for Dio as well, uh, his, his, fabled, his fabled Hail Mary pass not resulting in a victory. I guess he's just got to think who he scores on now, right, with uh, three more turns. He can probably... Oh, looks like it might be a bull. 43 gets him MVP away, doesn't it? Oh, I chalk blocker surely. If he, if I, I like this because this this makes it look like he wants to score on him, so we can sneak in the chalk blocker touchdown. Like he's got to score on the chalk blocker, as well. he's absolutely got to. You can even chain him one forward here as well. So he doesn't have to GFI. That's what he should do. Let's see if he does. I don't know, because obviously I stopped watching, so it's completely boring. No, he doesn't. Terrible. Terrible play from Singolo there. I, like, li literally terrible, isn't it? He should he should have put in the, the guard and the bull and then chain, chained forward the, uh, the rookie. Then got rid of this guy. I guess you'd get rid of this guy first. I don't know. But he should have definitely got the, got the blocker in, right? Chain the forward, blocker forward, and then try to score on him. Absolute penguin. I can't believe what an absolute shit that he is. <laughs> Lucifer will have never do the do the mistake. <laughs> yeah. I think I think it's like you know what I mean, I think it's worth it, right? Like yes, okay, he's an MVP away now, which is alright. If if he if he gets it on him, but I think it was much much better to just actually get guard on this guy. Like guard's so crucial, isn't it? And just Obviously, he might not have made the handoff or anything, but I think that was what he should have tried to for, definitely. <laughs> Martin not giving up. But, I mean, it's definitely, definitely over. <laughs> Do SPP there. Oh. It's bloody stand firm. Yeah, exactly, Dev. It's funny, isn't it? Like, surely. Surely, just go for the tutty on him. You will have a chain push uh, him a square down. He did the blitz. Mm. Speaking of Stan Firm wins it back. Well, Steve, no spoilers, or to get anyone's hopes up, but Stan Firm might be coming back sometime. <laughs> there are there are plans afoot. There are plans afoot. There's only four claws before Mania, so we've got to. Uh, well, say we, I've got to do some thinking and try and work out. There's some ideas being floated around. Um, yes. So I've got to work out what to do. We can maybe even have like a conference call and, uh, <laughs> and like actually <laughs> figure it out together. The the GFW team, we should maybe work it out because you know we've got we've got a lot of things to like get together. I guess before Mania. Um, right, but anyway, there you go. That was a, an easy win for Singolo, um, and just entirely down the dice. I mean, not entirely right. Obviously, there is play involved. You know, it's not just other people could have played worse, couldn't they, than Singolo? But um, obviously, yeah, Clopon tends to annihilate lizards sometimes. <laughs> um, 
So there you go. All right, thank you very much. Oh, sorry, Fami, I didn't put you on the screen there. Um, right, there, that's sorry, Fami. The end. <laughs> but uh, thank you for joining us. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.